Do you want to see how I decorate a week that includes Christmas and New Year's? Stay tuned. So since this week contains New Year's Eve on Sunday, I'm going to use my Trendsetter sticker book and grab some of these colorful confetti stickers. So basically what I have in mind for this week's layout is the right page is going to be bright colors for the new year and then the left page will be completely decked out in Christmas. So I'm just going to sprinkle these confetti stickers all over the right page, kind of focusing on the outer edges so I still have room to plan inside the boxes. Next, I'm going to take this student sticker book pack and grab some of these pink letters and I'm just going to spell out New Year's Eve. Now that I have that set, it's time to pull out my Planner Basics sticker book and I'm going to use these pink step stickers for my work schedule, but I'm going to cut off the steps portion. So I'm going to move over to the left side now and start decorating for Christmas. I have been saving this Christmas sticker in this book for Christmas Day specifically, so I am so excited that I can finally use it. So I'm going to put a Happy Holidays right here in the sidebar. So because I'm not really expecting the first half of the week to be all that busy, I am going to make it a little bit more decorative than I usually do in my planner. But if you wait until towards the end of the video, I will also be adding in a note paper for this week that I'm going to decorate separately to keep some other to-do lists on. So I'm not too worried about being more decorative here. Now I'm just going to use this green Tombow marker with my checklist stencil. And I decided that's kind of too light of a green, so I'm going to go over it with a green Paper Mate Flare. There we go. Now you can see it much better. So I'm going to add a to-do banner here for this list. Next, I'm just going to mark with a box sticker and this Today banner a family dinner on Tuesday. So now I'm going to take these Tombow markers, but I'm going to start with the blue and I'm actually going to outline the boxes for the week. Which I love doing this, it just adds such a fun different color to your planner. So now I'm going to take this green and do it on the left side. So I feel like that just adds a ton of color to your week without having to use a bunch of stickers. Now I'm going to go with this rainbow sticker book and just grab some stickers. For Friday I'm going to make a now and later checklist. So now I'm going to go to the red pages and grab some stickers for the left side. I really want to put this here but it's see-through and I don't want to be able to see the 25 and Monday behind it. So I'm going to use some scrap paper here and just put the sticker down and cut around it. Now I'm going to take some of the double-sided sticky tape that I have. And I'm going to put that on the back of this so that I can stick it over the 25 at the top. There we go. Now we have a decorative 25th up here. 
And I love these merry and bright. I have to use them. And since this is the week to do it for Christmas stickers, they are going in the sidebar. And I think it really is the happiest season of all. So I'm going to add that sticker here to Thursday. Add a few more checklists here with my stencil. And I decided to do something different here for Tuesday. So I'm going to actually peel these up and put down this Today sticker. And then place that family dinner sticker back down on the paper. String some Christmas lights. So I think that is going to be it for what I actually put down on my week. So now I'm going to add in some note paper here from the mini Happy Planner line and just make myself a decorative place where I can keep notes or to-do lists for the week. So same like the week, I'm going to decorate the front side Christmassy and then the back is going to be bright fun colors for the new year. I'm using this note sheet this week because I went a little bit more decorative in my planner for the first half of the week because of Christmas and also because I have some of these Christmas stickers that I do want to use yet this year. So this is a good excuse to be able to use more stickers when you're running out of room in your weekly layout. So the middle part of this is where I'm going to list things that I don't want to forget and some priorities for the week. So now I'm going to flip it over to the back. I am going to first use this same blue Tombow marker that I used on the weekly layout and outline this note sheet. So now that I have that done, I'm going to add some of these stickers throughout this note sheet that I can just kind of make lists and keep track of some things this week. So I'm also going to add this game day sticker. There are some college football bowl games next weekend that I want to remember the teams and the times for. So I'm going to make a list here. I'm going to cut the to-do off of this checklist. So I just have the checklist portion and add it to the reminders. So I like this right now sticker because it has a lot of different colors in it. So I'm going to put that here with just some of these icon stickers so I can make a list. Add a get it done, but since I already have a get it done box sticker, I'm going to cover the get it done with a different sticker. So I'm going to use from the Rainbow Sticker Book Pack, I'm going to use this Priority Sticker and just trim it down so that it fits. And there we go, that is my completed layout for this week. That includes two different holidays with a note sheet that can kind of divide it a little bit. So hit that like button if you are super excited for the Christmas holiday. And hit the subscribe button if you want to see more planner videos. And I will talk to you guys all in tomorrow's video. Bye guys!